Like a doll's eyes, Chief. Alright, YouTube. So here, here's an update on the 150 gallon reef tank. Um, as you can see, the powder blue tang is doing amazing. There is zero aggression between him and the yellow tangs. With him being a new fish, he's not going to be aggressive. And with the yellow tangs being so aggressive, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, uh, so so intimidated by his size, they're not even going to try to squirrel with him. Um, he, uh, he seems to be eating, but only seaweed. And he's not aggressively or actively eating. He kind of does a couple laps around the tank. Picks up the seaweed. I can see that he's ingesting it, and that's it. He's not eating the spectrum. He's not eating the other pellets I have. He's not eating frozen food. Um, so the guy that had him before was just feeding him spectrum pellets, uh, the New Life spectrum pellets, um, and he said he only fed him seaweed like every other month, which is, I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be good. Like, he seems to be healthy, but uh, um, so right now he's just eating the seaweed. Um, and I think it's maybe because he's full grown, he's not, doesn't have an appetite of a young buck anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's doing great, no signs of ick, no signs of stress. stress. And uh, honestly, I think he's like really livened up my tank. Um, with him being out, all the other fish are out more. Um, even the, the algae blending that I have is very uh, reclusive and very uh, skittish. When people walk by the tank, he'll just start and hide for like an hour. Um, but with the powder blue tang out, he was out today even when I was in front of the tank and he was eating seaweed with the powder blue tang. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, as you can, as you saw in the other video, as soon as I added him, he was immediately swimming around like it was his own, his own tank. Um, he's picking at the algae on the rocks. Um, he's doing great. He's awesome. Um, he's huge. This is only a four foot tank. Um, but it's also 150 gallons, so I feel like he definitely needs a little more space, but I think I think he's okay in this tank. You know, a lot of people recommend 90 to 120 gallons. I think that's a bit on the small side for a full-grown powder blue tank, but he was in 150 gallon before he came to this one, so I think he he's going to do all right. Um, he loves to swim. He loves to get blown around by the vortex. That's something he didn't have in his previous tank. Um, there's an MP40 there and an MP60 there, so he likes to swim in between them and he just gets like tossed around by the current. It's pretty cool. Kind of like that. Um, he likes to swim all around, up and down the tank, through the rock work. Um, as you can see, he's really, really, really cool. And he's just like a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. He's not shy when I come up to the tank. He's not anything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Um, and also the guy also said uh, previously when he had him, he had him since he was like a few inches and he said he's never had a problem with Ick. Didn't quarantine him, threw him right in the tank. He's never had a battle with Ick at all. Um, I'm kind of beginning to think that he's Ick proof, you know? Did I get an Ick proof powder blue tang? I don't know, does that exist? Maybe. I had powder blue one other time. I put him in my 40 gallon, it's a few years back. Uh, he did fine for like three weeks, then it got to him and killed him in like the same day. Just like freaked out, stressed out, and just died. Um, but he also wasn't fat, his spine was showing. Uh, when I added him to the tank, he was like hiding out, just kind of stressed out. Whereas, you know, him, he's fat, healthy. As soon as I put him in the tank, he was swimming around. He loved it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. That's the update on the powder blue tank. See, there he is eating some algae. Um, nothing else new with the tank, really. I mean, um, I'd like to upgrade the pump on the skimmer eventually. Uh, I added a phosphate reactor, some good phosphate media. Um, 
the high uh, capacity uh, uh, phosphate media from bulk resupply. Um, I got to fix that there, that controller. I took it off because I was kind of afraid if, if it fell off, if the Velcro, you know, wasn't secured, it might fall off into the refugium. So I just kind of set it there for now. Um, filter sock. Uh, lights, same old, same old everything. Just got a awesome powder blue now. It's from around the tank. It's doing great. Yeah. Thanks for watching.